Mode. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to session recap of 9 of June 2014. My name is Nenad, and today I will show you Euro Dollar Cable, Audi, Audi Cat, and Swiss Yen setups and analysis for today, tomorrow, and possibly the day after tomorrow. And just before I begin, I hope that. Ah, hello, we have a new. Yeah, Anis Ahmed, hello from Dubai, yeah. Thank you, thank you, Anis Ahmed. Uh, we had a great GBP CAD today. I hope that you have entered. Let me see what the price is now. The price is currently 83.23.24, but it went to 83.30 just after the region has been hit. So. You could have made some 20, 30 free pips if you trail the stop. Possibly there is a chance that this level might be reached, but still 20, 30 out of this setup was very good. I hope that you have got into, into the retracement. As you can see, I made GBP CAD analysis. It's a very fast pair. And as I said, possibilities for trend setups are high. So basically, 20, 30 pips out of this level here, from this level, really is a good thing. Uh, about Forex Ball competition, uh, I haven't prepared the slides for now, but check Admiral Market site and everything will be clear. Admiral Markets, Forex Ball and try to enter the Forex Ball competition. Unfortunately, I don't have the time now to enter the competition. I'm extensively trading on uh, three, four of my accounts, and I'm really sorry because I cannot make it to Forex Ball competition, unfortunately. Well, if I, if I did, I would possibly use this GBP cat setup from today because it was really didn't have a single pip of a drawdown really. So, first let me tell you about our risk disclaimers then I will show you what happened last week. We had 180 pips total from three trades. There was no losing trade and let's see what we will have today. So, online educational materials are developed by Admiral Markets AS Estonia for a global audience. Therefore, please take into consideration that information this session may not be suitable for everyone. To get a corresponding information on charting conditions and any other detail, please visit www.admiralmarketsglobal.com, select your country of residence and contact an appropriate entity. Risk disclosure statement stating all the possible risks associated with forest market. By accepting this, you are also accepting to proceed further with me. Admiral Marcus UKLTD takes no responsibility for the information accuracy. The analysis represents the personal opinion of the author, me, and in no way it represents the actual suggestion for the trade. These are not the MUK's opinions. The website in the video is not the .co.uk website, but the globalyouth.com website. Forest is risky business. This should be not taken as advice. It's personal opinion only, and this webinar is for informational and educational purposes only. With having said that, I can proceed further. Summary of last session recap, 2nd of June 2014. Euro dollar 60 pips on this target was hit. GBP 80 pips sell. GBPN 30 position sell. Audi wasn't qualified and Euro yen. Well, I am very honest person and uh, you know this is wrong 140, 170 pips pool. So this should be corrected. Okay, this is 170. But you know about Euro Yen. Uh, trade from you uh, of Euro Yen of the last week. Basically, it was hit, but it wasn't hit after two days. It was hit after three days. And I always say my trades are valid for today, tomorrow, and sometimes day after tomorrow. And basically. We, I made, uh, I made this on 2nd of June, and Euro Yen was hit for, I think it was on 5th of June, and basically it went some 50, 60, 100 pips in a profit. But you know, uh, I wouldn't be honest if I told you 
now let's wait four days. So usually this day tomorrow and day after tomorrow uh, set up Cervelid until I update them on Admiral Marcus Brog, uh, my Twitter and Forex Factory Spiders Den. So basically what I'm implying is Euro Yen was a winner trade, a setup was hit, it was basically from eight, uh, uh, it was 13.875 and it came to the level, it didn't have a single pip of a drawdown and then it jumped, just where I presume and predict, but basically what happened is it was qualified four days after, after well, may some of you may may have taken the trade, well done, but I didn't take this into account, so it was 170 pips pull out of these three trades. For me, trade of the week was, of, of course, GBP dollar, because GBP dollar, I will show you, it was perfect trade. So, this is position buy around 35.85, stop loss 30 pips, target price 36. 50. This was the time of our webinar and where was it? It was qualified there, it was qualified there, there. So three chances to get into the trade. One hour after the webinar, then two hours, three hours and then here, here. So you could have entered basically as I told you. So it eventually came here, but also you can see it was rejected here, 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 there. So buying of this level was very, very fruitful. GBP for me, trade of the week, it was sell at 60, 7, 80, 90. This was the time of our webinar and then we had a great trade. Look at this, 67, 80 was hit to the pip, look here, and the trade was qualified at 11 a.m. GMT plus 3, platform time, here, bang, 83 pips, I count this as 80 pips, so whatever, guys, if you trade this, these setups, even if you get 10, 20, 30 pips, out of all these trades, not full 80 pips. It's still good because those pips are free. So take this, take that into account. So this is basically the analysis which I also trade and I manage the trade how I do it. I cannot manage the trade for you if you don't take it. So basically it's very good if you manage the trade, if you know how to manage the trade because most of those setups are good for at least 10, 15, 20 pips. But as you can see, many, many of them got 50, 60, 70, 80 pips, such as this one, such as Euro dollar and so on. On Aussie, we didn't have any setup. We didn't have any setup because it was news. I didn't want to trade the news. GBPN, 30, uh, 30 pips on sell position. GBPN was correlated to GBP dollar and this was the time of our webinar, one to three hours after, well, nine o'clock, it was basically 9 p.m., GMT plus three platform, the trade was hit and it went back some 35 pips actually, but I count this as 30 pips, so doesn't matter. Even if you get 25 pips out of this one, still it's free and it's good to take free pips into your account. So that was all which we made last week. As I told you Euro Yen, basically I will show you Euro Yen. If you remember my setup, I told you that you possibly can buy around this level, 130.75. Look what happened. Guys, at 3 o'clock, 5th of June, the trade was hit and subsequently it went 125 pips but it was basically not day today and tomorrow and day after tomorrow. It was day after day of tomorrow, <laughs> right? It was just because of that I didn't take the trade into account. But if you remember last week, you can check it. It was this 
130 pips tall, 140 tall pips pool. Unfortunately, I didn't trade it, but well, we had perfect setup. Okay, now we can move on to today's setups. Okay, euro dollar. Euro dollar is ranging. It's a range on euro dollar. You can see this. 35.70 is a possible position buy. 30 pip stop loss. Target is 36.35. Now, why am I seeing this? Basically, we have head and shoulders. This is M. This is not perfect head and shoulders. It is. It is if you watch it as head and shoulders. Because we have, uh, if you watch the chart, this is left, this is head, this is right. But this is more of M pattern. This is M. And this level is very important, 3620. Now, if you watch past couple of basically days, weeks, you can see here, this is a range. Euro dollar is trapped in the range. This is just news reaction. After the news reaction, it was NFP. You can see basically Euro dollar was pushed up this blue level here. Okay? It was pushed up this level here. And basically now it's trying to break it. I would like Euro dollar here. 61.8 because this was also historically good level. If this happens, we might see nice buy setup towards 36.35. 36.35 is this level. 23.6 retracement. Also, we have historical sellers here. Here, 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 here. You can see this this level here is historically good for selling. So I would possibly look to buy it around there, placing 30 pips stop loss all the way up to 36.30. Where would I sell it? I would sell it only, only, only if I get another 36.50 to 70 trade. So 36.50 to 70 stop loss 37. Target is 35.90. If I get the opportunity to sell it there, I would do it. Okay. So this is for euro dollar. Cable is again it's ranging. I look to buy around 67.55. 30 pip stop loss target is 60A05. I would sell only at breakout pullback continuation 67.20 trailing the stop after 15 pips. Okay, GBP the winner of the last week for 80 pips today. I might look to buy it around this level, 61, almost the same setup as for Euro dollar, 61.8 golden ratio Fibonacci number 67.55 around this region. This region proves there are some historical buyers here, here last swing. So because it's ranging, I will be looking to buy it once it gets there. If it gets there, I don't know if it will. And I would sell it only at breakout of 67.20. This is basically 5 pips from our stop loss. If it happens, then 60, look at this. Breakout, pullback, continuation, breakout, retest. So basically, breakout, retest, breakout, pullback, continuation could be traded below this level towards, 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 uh, I didn't put it here, but if you put on four hour time frame, you basically can see, I will zoom out where we will trade it, trade it towards this level here, 66, 60. But because it's a range, you can see this is also range, look at this, four hour time frame, this, this, now these two levels are very important. This is what we talk on webinars, this peak, this uh, low here. So this high and this low are interim levels of support and resistance. 
So guys, pay attention. If you, I don't know which system or method you are trading, but basically I don't mind. It's up to you, but pay attention to these levels. Okay, because this is important. This is resistance. This is support. How I do it? It's a price action. I've been trading price action for more than five years extensively. I know much about it, really a lot about it. And I don't know how other traders do, but this is the truth. These are interim resistance and support level. When you see these candles like this, one peak and then one bottom, so one high, one low, with big wicks, try to place it here. So these are important levels, okay? And this is why what I see here also. It's trapped in this range. Okay, this is for GBP. Aussie strong. This is Aussie cat also, but it's also in uptrend. 93.20 to 10 stop loss. 92.85 target. 94.10. So I'll be looking to buy Aussie. Look at this. This is zigzag. Okay. I call it, and we call it zigzag. Look, why I call it zigzag? Because zigzag is basically a trend following pattern. A uh, quick question. Do you have any trading room of your own or you trade alone? I uh, currently don't host any trading room. I'm really too busy. I was thinking about it, guys, but at the moment I don't have the time really for trading room. It's one of my uh, checklist, I probably will make it in the future. I'm trading uh, by myself. Uh, sometimes I have a colleague where, where we talk about trades, but 99% uh, of the time I'm trading alone, by myself, by my charts and by my Camarilla. 100% of the time I trade Camarilla MACD. But uh, you know, when when a trader, uh, one of my trader trader friends wants to trade with me, we basically discuss our trades. But nonetheless, I always take my Camarilla make these setups. Yeah, you don't have Camarilla. You, I you can have Camarilla indicator. I will be showing uh, that on my uh, webinar. I think it's scheduled for this week. And uh, it's only indicator, but Camarilla MACD is a full method which I have developed, and uh, it's it's a paid one. But all of these setups which I was giving you since uh, January, these are all Camarilla MACD setups, guys. So basically, all those all those things which you can hear freely here on uh, Mondays or uh, is. Uh, you can thank to Admiral Markets uh, because they support me and uh, and my work. And if you want to learn Camarilla MACD trading method, that is paid method. It's uh, and it's not free. But all of those setups which I'm talking about and which I have been showing you are free and are taken from Camarilla MACD method. Okay. So again, you can. Yeah, Predrag, let's wait, let's wait. Last slide is Odiket, but let me show you this. This is basically zigzag. Uh, trust pullback, trust pullback, trust pullback, trust pullback. With each subsequent uh, swing price is making a new high and is basically a higher high and a higher low. High, high, higher low. Now, I want to see it as I showed you at 93.20 to 10, putting stop loss at 92.85. I don't know if, if, if it will happen, but for me it's a clear buying zone. Today's Monday, I'm still counting on a nice retracement out towards this level. Because Aussie, Audi, Audi banks, Australian banks had bank holiday uh, today, so basically maybe Asia session will push, uh, pull the price back to this zone here, and I think we might be getting some nice trades there towards 94.10, towards 94.10, guys, and 
you can see that 9410 is a round number and basically it stands here. And I'm thinking that the price might get by, uh, bought again here and bang, shoot up. This is W bullish pattern here. One, two, three W pattern. So this was the breakout point and bang, we can go up. And the last slide is, yeah, I have Swiss yen, yeah. So Aussie CAD, Aussie CAD, buy around because we have breakout three tests possible. So I would be looking to buy around 1.1030 30 pip stop loss, target 1.0210, okay. Aussie CAD, one of my favorite Aussie pairs. What I'm seeing here is this basically, this is uptrend, look how good it is. This is really uptrend, you can drop down to one hour time frame and basically this is the level 1.1030, 1.1030. So this is the zone here, congestion was spotted here, this is congestion, look, congestion here around this zone, these levels, we have important candle is this, because we have historical bias here, last swing low prior to a straight upward movement, so if it gets there, I would be looking to buy it, okay. You can also spot this as 4 hour trade, because 4 hour trade also, it's valid here, because uh, the pattern is a rounded bottom, so this is rounded bottom, okay, this is rounded bottom here, you can see it here, a rounded bottom, a bullish pattern, price will go here probably and then jump up. And last slide for today, Swiss CN, I will be looking to sell at 114.3545, 30 pip stop loss target price is 113.80. So it's M pattern retest, 114.35, M pattern retest, okay, Swiss CN, sorry, Swiss CN is in downtrend, so I will show you, Swiss CN is in downtrend, this is M, this is bearish pattern, but I'll be looking to sell it here, at around this zone, 35.45, did I put this in the slide? Yeah, 35.45. I can allow some 10 pips also because we have 10 pips here, but also this is big level. So anywhere we can buy it around these regions here, okay. In this, uh, sorry, sell it. So sell, I will, I'll be looking to sell it around here towards this level here, important level because price has basically has gone twice above it, so it, it managed to close twice above it, so I'll be looking of course to sell it there towards these levels, okay, okay, Mohammed, I will be looking about, I will be uh, talking about Camarilla on the next webinar, be sure to sign up for that webinar, I will be talking about Camarilla, it's 11th of June, Camarilla versus other indicators. So I will give you some quick tips about Camarilla and why it's better versus other indicators, okay. So guys, I will go through these slides again, pay attention, uh, print it on your screen and if you have any further questions you can ask me. So this is the plan for Euro dollar, this is the plan for cable, this is the plan for Audi dollar or Aussie, how we call it, this is the plan for Audi CAD, And we have Swiss CN M pattern retest possible because it's in downtrend. 
this is set up for 3CM. Actually, it might be hit soon. If the price is good to us, it might be hit soon, guys. So be sure to look up for it, okay? So it, now is the time to ask me any question. If you have any questions, now is the time to ask me. What about GBP CAD? Is your analysis still valid? Well, Nicolescu, you know, you had three chances, Adrian. You had three chances to get in the trade. Now I wouldn't be looking because it already jumped two or three times from my uh, setup. Let me find GBP CAD here. Look what happened. Zoom in to 15 minutes time frame. Now this was the time for buying. This was the zone. This was the zone. The main zone. 83, 12 to 10 to 83, 0, 0. Price was at 83.45 when I made when I was making the analysis. The price went down here. Look, one, two, three times. M5. What does it tell you? One, two, three, four, five times. This was the zone. And every time it was bought. Look, now it's 30 pips, almost 30 pips up. So, you know, if it gets back, I wouldn't be looking to buy it because you had five times chance to buy it. This was the first chance. It went very good. This was the second chance, 18 pips. This was the third chance, 25 pips. From the first entry, pips pool almost 30 pips here it was 30 pips if it goes up it can make inverted head and shoulders it still go up again unfortunately you are a little bit late uh, which is the target for euro dollar no 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 euro dollar you didn't see it well euro dollar it's 36 35 not 37 no I would be looking to sell at 3650 to 3670 with stop loss at 37 with 3590 the target. Can uh, you want to download Camarilla indicator? Yeah, Camarilla indicator will be I can give you after my webinar Camarilla indicator, not Camarilla MACD. Camarilla MACD is my method and Camarilla is the indicator. So, yeah. Can you show where I can see GBP CAD analysis on Admiral Marquis Bay site? Sure. Here. It's Admiral Marquis blog, Tarantula FX, GBP CAD analysis. GBP CAD analysis. Okay. All of my analysis are hosted here. Okay. How to get Rahul? I will be giving uh, my email address after after Camarilla webinar. So you, I I will send Camarilla indicator to all who are interested to get Camarilla indicator after the webinar. So Ahmed, uh, this is GBP Cat and this is my blog. Just enter. Go on Google, don't worry, and just enter Nanat Kerkes and you will be shown here. Daily analysis, Nanat Kerkes, Tarantula, Admiral Markets. So just click at one of those links. It will give you and it will bring you straight to Admiral Markets blog. And basically there you can follow my analysis. So if you want to use the link then you can go like this Albermarkets.com blog tarantula fx and 
you are good to see all of those nice little things and charts here. For the analysis point of view, where would we target B on GBP CAD? Uh, if it happens to be a great trade, I would be looking for, and now it's in a good profit, well, some 25, 8 pips again. My main target for GBP CAD is here. I will show you now. I need to open Camarilla full. So here, wait just a little bit here. 83.90 because it's H3 because it's the top of the right shoulder. So it's a confluence for the target. 83.90. So 83.90. Okay. This is the target for GBP CAD. Okay. Do you teach how to use Camarilla on your webinar? I give you tips to use Camarilla, but not my Camarilla uh, MACD method. It's not free to, to teach it. I have invested a lot of time, a lot of money and effort basically to develop the method. So it's not free, but it's some tips. All of those things which I've been analyzing and showing you are taken from my Camarilla MACD setups and templates and uh, I will teach you some trading tips for Camarilla, uh, Camarilla indicator on that webinar. So be sure to sign in for that. Is Camarilla indicator indicating historical buyers and sellers? No. Uh, historical buyers and sellers can be found only if you know price action. I will make a special webinar in August about finding historical buyers and sellers. Any setups on dollar yen, not at the moment, Amila, not at the moment, unfortunately. This is what I think we might get bad setups from. Euro dollar cable Aussie standard and then dollar, uh, Odicad and Swiss yen. So I'm waiting for Swiss yen particularly. It might be hit soon, okay? If you have any questions, you can ask me. So Swiss CN, look, GBP CAD is going up really nice. And Swiss CN is the thing which can, I hope that it will give us some nice, nice retest of the zone and then bang down, okay? Okay. So guys, this, this is it. If you don't have any further question. Then if everything is clear, we are good to call it a day. Is there any previous webinar? Mohammed, yes, there is. Please, Mohammed, ask Admiral Markets support about all of these webinars are recorded. I always record all of my webinars, but I don't know if they if they upload it on YouTube or Vimeo or I don't know. Ask them for previous webinars. Okay? Mohammed, so ask them for previous webinars because when I finish with webinars, I send all of my webinars uh, to Admiral Markets. What is the name of webinar? It's called Session Recap. We can look for it. So let me find it. If it's uploaded, if it, it will be shown. Go with Education, then Webinars, Video Archive. Here, weekly Forex recap. So this was previous recap. So Mohammed and every one of you who are not sure where to find previous webinars, Arduino Markets is good with this, these ones. They are uploaded here. You just press play and it will be played. So what, weekly Forex recap is the name of all of my sessions free session with Admiral Market Session Recaps. Name of to identify historical buyers. Yeah, it will be, uh, the webinar will be scheduled for August. Uh, I will be on vacation from uh, 4th of August till 18th of August. So when I get back, I will prepare some webinars for you 
and one of those webinars will be how to identify historical buyers and sellers. So that will be one of my webinars in August, guys. So be patient. Uh, if you want to look at video archive, all of those webinars are hosted here and Admiral Markets is good to upload this and it's, I'm grateful because they have uploaded all of those webinars which me and Chris have been hosting and it's a great school for you. If you don't have the time to go through all of these webinars, well, I from time to time I make another additional webinar about some subjects so be sure guys to check and sign up for those ones. Okay, so this was all for today. As you can see, Euro Dollar Cable, Aussie, Audicad and Swiss Yen setups. Hope we will see this soon and well, what can I say? Let's make some pips again. Thank you guys for attending. Thank you, Lo. Thank you, Asin Ahmed. Thank you, everyone. Anis Ahmed, sorry. Thank you, everyone. And be sure to stay up. Uh, stay tuned to my Admiral Markets Twitter and Spiders Den posts because some of these setups may be uploaded, may be uh, revised tomorrow. Uh, and be sure to sign up because I'm always telling you what the best thing is, try to best setups out of 27 pairs. Thank you guys for attending, thank you for listening to me and talk to you very, very soon guys. Cheers!